Hey, this is Felicia Purcell for SportsInTheBay.net. I am here with Beria's own and Oakland Raiders running back special teams player, Taiwan Jones. Taiwan, thank you for taking the time. I uh, appreciate you. Thanks for having me. Off camera, we were talking about that you're now in your fifth year as an Oakland Raider. Is this, these last five years, been a dream come true for you? Um, of course, uh, you know, me, I, I went to college in Eastern Washington, so it was hard for my family and friends to go out and see me play. So to be able to get drafted in uh, my hometown, it, 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 was, it was unpredictable. I didn't imagine playing in my hometown, but it happened and it's been a blessing. With it being in your hometown, there are pros and cons with that. So, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a, a gift and a cur curse. Uh, like I said, um, my family, my friends, they're able to see me. But the tough thing about that is everybody wants to see you, so it could be a hassle with tickets um, here and there. But you know, like you said, I'm going to my fifth year, so it's getting a little easier for me. Do you have, I was talking to TJ about this, he said that he has a process down now and that his family has been pretty understanding about that. Do you have a process that you have in, as far as distributing tickets on oh, game yeah. day? It, you have to, uh, it'll drive you crazy if you don't, but I, I had to get a process down and you know, uh, just like TJ and my family is real under, understanding. So. That's great. How, how big, what has been your largest request thus far? Oh man, I've I've had requests up to what 26 tickets, uh, probably even more than that. But I definitely don't even <laughs> I don't even they know I'm not going that far. So what's been the biggest though? Um, I believe about 18. If I, I don't really remember the exact number, but I know it was up there. But you know what, Taiwan, what people don't understand is that that comes out of your pocket. Oh, yeah. That definitely comes straight out of the game check. They didn't know that, but they know that now. So, like I said, my family, they, they've been real understanding about that, and they've been supportive of me. Now, growing up, what were you a Raider, or what, what fan were you? I actually grew up uh, a Niner fan. My whole dad... Uh, so my father's side of the family is from Hunters Point, which is literally right across the street from the Niners Stadium. So I grew up a Niners fan, but that all changed once I got picked by the, by the Raiders. Absolutely. What has been your biggest memory thus far as an Oakland Raider? My biggest memory as far as an Oakland Raider? Um, I think... Um, Unfortunately, it was when uh, Al Davis passed. Uh, I never got to meet him, but I just remember the tension around the team when he passed. And uh, that game against uh, Houston, um, it just, it, it'll stick in my mind forever. And we was able to pull out the, vic the victory in that game. I made some impactful plays that game. And it was a real emotional game, but uh, everybody was playing for something and playing for Al Davis. Uh, I remember that game forever. So were the fans. Now, I didn't say this before, but Taiwan is from, originally from San Francisco, but attended Deer Valley in Antioch, California. So I just wanted to make sure that I said that for those who are looking for the Bay Area connection. Lastly, there's a lot of expectations that are being put on the Raiders this year. You got a hometown guy that's the head coach. What has, how did you go into this season preparing with a new coach and with a whole new outlook for the silver and black um i just go in the same as every year i go in like it's my rookie year you know you got to prove yourself to the new coaches and you got to prove yourself to the fans and every day you got to come out here you know willing and ready to to prove yourself and that's that's just what it's been for us yeah. thank you for your time and good luck for this season thank you